Hey beautiful Capricorns, welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you for all your generosity, your likes and your subscriptions. Guys, I think this is going to be the final day. I'm praying that I get the delivery for the Infinite Energy Oracle decks giveaways, guys. So very soon, if it's today, I will do a video and post the winners guys so know that and for those of you this is your last day to enter the draw to win one of those decks so don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button guys and be entered into the draw for one of these decks so we are talking about the beautiful capricorns Energy for Capricorns, information, knowledge, wisdom, divine messages from the Most High, the Most Holy for Capricorn. Who? Judgment. I feel good when I can help others. This is trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. You're in service and you're trusting the infinite. Hmm. Somebody. Yeah. Failure. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Yes, you can. You did not fail, Capricorn. If you're thinking that you failed, you did not. It's just an opportunity to grow and learn. It makes you feel good to help others. It makes you, you're trusting your own inner, the only person you can really trust is yourself. Like you can trust yourself to be honest. You can't always trust, you know, other people to be as honest as what you are. It's about discipline. So obviously somebody was dishonest here. Let's go Capricorn. New beginnings. Synergy, the green man. Healthy, healthy relationships. I may not be able to trust everybody that I trusted, but I can trust myself and I can be honest with myself. This is healthy. Strength. Stillness. Emergence. Crystals to help you focus. Things are changing. Well, there's power. Ooh, my God. Huh. You know, every storm, every volcano, lightning, clouds, shape shifting, it's to cleanse the earth. You know, when Mother Nature creates disasters, it is to make it healthy. It emerges a healthy, healthy new beginning. So that's what happened with this situation. It was very volatile. That is a tower. But you're emerging very healthy 
very strong. Just release. Maybe this was a shape shifter. Air. Regeneration. Oh, so this person has not shed their old ways. You know what I mean? You had to trust your own intuition and you're flowing right into abundance. You listened to yourself. You trusted your own intuition, trusted yourself. You're being honest with yourself. You can trust yourself. You love being in service and helping others, but you can't teach an old dog new tricks. They have not changed their ways. Hmm. hmm. Look how healthy you are now. You might have been dry like the Sahara here, but look at the water is flowing into your life. Moss, healthy, green synergy. What is not good and healthy for me is going. I can trust myself. I can trust my intuition. Balance. Mm. Saying they will never change. Toxic. You've taken your love away and they've assumed you've moved on. You're being idolized here. You're presence is intimidating to this person they brought their past toxicities into the present situation it's what happens when you don't take time out for yourself to heal properly before getting involved in another relationship and this is what pattern this person has. They just go from one situation to the next without doing any of the healing work. They're not clear about something. Are they blinded by love? Were you blinded by love? Thinking that, you know, I love to help. I love to be in service. I love to have honesty and trust.
They're slow moving, man, like a turtle. Their friends were playing a big picture or they were thinking that you were not the one or you were thinking that they're not the one, but they, they may not be the one. Maybe we're toxic to one another. This person feared losing their freedom. They wanted the upper hand. Immature. And you may have felt that they weren't putting in enough effort. Hmm. You were missing something. You felt like something was missing. this egg ritual here. Getting through life and detoxing. Too many secrets. And now they're angry. <laughs> Feeling a deep frustration. Experiencing a lot of anger. They're trying to unravel a difficult pattern that they got themselves in. They're trying to figure it out. They're getting frustrated. Why do they keep repeating things? Why do they keep choosing toxic relationships? Why do they trust the people around them? that shouldn't have been trusted instead of trusting those that they should have trusted and put their loyalty into your life partner yeah they allowed this other there's a woman causing trouble in the relationship and they had to make a choice between the two They're like, they're unawakened. They didn't see how magical you were. You were mirroring one another. You may have felt guilty for leaving this person. Or there is a feminine karmic manipulating them. Now they're too shy to come forward. got some ancestral karma to clear up. Release. When you set this person free, they felt the sting, whether you know it or not. You may have thought this was going to be your fairy tale ending, but this person keep kept you going around and around in circles, so I think you bailed. 
now you are a mystery to this person and now they are investigating you spying on you trying to see if you asking friends or family or seeing if you're dating someone new because you all of a sudden became the mysterious one they're being haunted <laughs> their vivid dreams haunt them they dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on with someone new Despite the distance between you, they still feel the energetic cords that are keeping you connected. <laughs> Dark night. Experiencing massive upheavals. The lightning. The volcano. <laughs> but this is all putting them into alignment. Putting them into a space where they are intended to be. They are communicating with you telepathically. <laughs> you had to set up boundaries. Even if that meant you were in solitude. Figuring, you know, the solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves. frequency they're aligning to the frequency of love trying to operate at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving they're deep in their thoughts about you realizing their distractions prevented them from seeing the potential in you game over they fear, you know, you no longer are entertaining their half-hearted efforts. And they're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know you have plenty of other options. They are plotting, strategizing. Capricorn, karmic connection, but they, oh, there's some addictions here, okay, this person, your presence intimidates them, you're so beautiful, it could be intimidating to this karmic, they're drinking heavily, addicted to some kind of sex, drinking, or destructive behavior, you stand out. Your beauty stands out. And this karmic connection that they are in. I don't know why they're there. They don't look too happy. Ooh. In reverse. They might be pulling back from this karmic Hmm. Poker face. Trapped. They're trying to free themselves. You're just, something is brewing. They want to make a love call to you. Searching information. Nothing compares to you. They might want to go on a getaway with you. They might be cutting their losses, you know, separating before it gets work. This person's been love struck. <laughs> Heart space is opening. Twin flame ascension. Soulmate connection. My God. I guess the karmic is doing their job over there. You know, when I say karmic, guys, a lot of people don't really understand 
what a karmic relationship is that they're in. This is someone of who has a lot of drama, who has unhealthy habits, who there's a lot of maybe fighting, arguing, high drama, addictions, codependencies, unhealthy situations or lifestyles. Illumination, self-discovery, someone exceptional. Bold, brave, reliable, someone you they could count on. Has a strong, driven perf purpose, someone secure, confident. Networking, marketing, social media, publicity, internet, fame, spotlight. Air. Hmm. Communications. Desiring harmony and balance. This is justice. Could be a Libra. Look, I can't make it up. This is a victory. Success. Someone experienced. Getting recognition and fame that you deserve this award. Achieving Sun increases, getting very resourceful. Opportunities, new hope, longevity, regal, proud, the eagle. Key to solution. Genius, insights, clarity, open, liberty, helpful, important, pay attention. Mars, the ruler of destruction here. So I said, they're going through a tower. Going through a lot of upheavals in their life to put them on a level that they were intended to be on. The ethers. The element of spirit is here. Divine timing. Twin flame. energetic having a lot of miscommunications like I said a lot of high drama a lot of arguments there's an uh, energy of hoarding there's an energy of miscommunication an energy of Lip service. Hmm. They're at a turning point. Jupiter, ruler of expansion. Hmm.
this is your own energy of the king of earth here capricorn energy someone very resourceful disciplined tenacious goal oriented constant The book they're going to end that situation yeah coffin hmm Hmm. We have the king and queen of earth here. This is a power couple. <sighs> the lovers. Can I say? Could be attending a lot of public venues or meeting this person. Because everything is working against them here. Fierce, unpredictable, wild, power struggles. Possessive. Elusive. Hmm. Saturn comes in as the regulator. The world. It's ending a cycle. This is a karmic cycle. It's what they chose. you're on the ship going forward it's like they took 10 steps back well you are leaping 10 steps ahead this is traveling this is going with the wind this is trusting yourself the you, you could be going on a vacation here with someone yeah this whatever major opportunities celebrating the light warmth growth relaxation enjoyment expansion positivity building straight something will unfold for you and it could be during the summer you could be going on a vacation a cruise something like that getting a lot of attention awards Owl, seeing through the facade, secrets lifted, insights, observant, exploring the unknown. Owl knows what's going on. Metamorphosis, embracing change, the soul rising up, reinventing yourself. You're ahead of the pack. <laughs> You've led the way. You're the leader. Getting it done. Motivated. This person wants to come in. There is someone ahead of the pack who is coming towards you. You could be this masculine energy that I'm reading for. You are getting someone very accomplished 
This is someone genuine and sincere, but it is the same for the femmes. You may be meeting a fellow Earth sign. <gasps> or a Leo. Gemini is also here. A masculine Gemini. Told you this was a burden. You know. There was someone very irresponsible, boring, unstable, impatient. Just, they never finish anything. You know what I mean? Disconnected family. Broken. Imbalanced. Inauthentic. False sense of security. It's just, there's no happiness there. It's in reverse. Boring. Complacent. Scattered. Repetitive. They never deliver on what they say. This was an emperor in reverse. When they're in this karmic situation, they should be in the upright, but they're in the reverse. Excessive control, inflexible, undisciplined. They may have be an absentee father or having father issues, lack of control, dominating and aggressive. They're in the wrong energy. They cannot learn anything with this energy where they're at, except to rage. And they are darned well getting wise to this. Hmm. I don't know. There was someone weak, you know. Going through a lot of emotional anguish. No follow through. An underachiever. Getting bad news. Can't figure out why. No action, no movement. Feeling restless, burned out. Those are clues of a karmic relationship. Feeling the Ten of Wands, exhausted. This, these are people who will drain your energy to the point where you have nothing left to give. Red flags, attention. Ooh. It's getting out of control. A lack of growth. Bogged down. Stagnant. Aimless. It's not worth the effort. Lack of faith. Hopelessness. Negativity. Bored. Despair. It's all in reverse. Getting caught. Wanting to come clean. Very antagonistic individual. It's from dark to light. It's a, an awakening here. I guess they had to go through the most to figure it out. They're going through the most. It's complete mayhem and upheaval there. Hmm. Out of ideas. Lack of confidence. Holy jeez. Blocked in uh, blocked intuition. Deception. Ambu ambu 
<laughs> and Buick. I can't say it, guys. It's an illusion. It's up to them. You took back your power and it's up to them. You are the Divine Femme, the High Priestess. All calm. Lack of faith they had. Whoever they had is discord, disharmony, trust issues, feeling imbalanced, feeling disconnected, the lovers in reverse. They're not on the same page. You know what I mean? And it's like this person is experiencing all these upheavals. They must think they're cursed, honestly. Non-conforming, I mean, emotionally immature. Seeking closure. Needing to step it up. Unwilling to learn karmic lesson. Something is reaching a turning point. You're looking ahead. Positive changes, rebuilding, accepting, discovery at a turning point. Hmm. This person knows to make amends. Pride cometh before a fall. They got too vain, conceited, self-centered, failure. Narcissism, showing off, being a follower. Hmm. So now they want to make amends with you. They're lonely where they are. Three of Cups under the influence of third parties or a love triangle or a rival under someone else's influence. Lack of interest, third party friction. This person feels like they're doing it all alone. Or you may have felt that way. You're overcoming, accepting the changes, healing and letting go. Hmm. This person is slowing down, like I said. Facing a lot of upheaval. This is the wheel in reverse. You know, it's not working out for them, no matter what they do. They got no motivation. They can't figure out why they're feeling so weak. They can't figure out why everything is going bad for them in their life. It's because they're with a karmic. That is an absolute energy drain. They're not meant to stay there. They're meant to release it. Learn the lesson. While you're over here having fun, counting your blessings. Extremely optimistic. <laughs> so that's what they're with some Queen of Cups in reverse. Fostering codependency. That's all that's there. Hmm. They want to make you a gesture. Hmm. Ooh. So this person is like a loose cannon right now. Made a poor choice. Dropping the ball. Too overwhelmed. They can't do it no more. They're going to crack. Playing mind games. 
whatever. At the pre-magician point, becoming as trying to establish a clear vision. Why is this going on in my life? Why is everything falling down around me? Why am I, you know, they're fighting, they're arguing. There's narcissistic stuff going on, unloving. It's codependency. It's very unhealthy. They're at a turning point. <laughs> Trying to restore harmony in your relationship. Trying to find a common ground with you, a solution. A new beginning, an offer, meeting someone new, stable, secure, abundant. Someone new is entering your life. This person, you want harmony in your life. This person wants harmony. So if you're not returning from anybody from your past, they want to return and problem solve this and work it out if you're there's definitely a new love offer coming in forward movement determined success action travel hmm yeah, they're going through it. This energy that they're with is very selfish. Charting a course. Future planning. Gonna have to make a decision here because the past wants to return. And you're gonna have to determine whether it's a one-sided things if they undervalue you you are going for the new that's what it's saying you're going to make it a, de a decision when this person comes back, if they um, are not ready, you're moving on to someone new. If they undervalue you, you're not dealing with this person it's not gonna happen you're getting a lot of attention and recognition you know, power couple relationships are not easy ones either. You know, you go through a lot of struggles. If this person worships you, values you, you may give them a chance. Others of you have decided already. There's new here. And that's the direction a lot of you are going to head in. Spirit wants you to know that wherever this person's at, it's a really, really volatile relationship. It's messing up this karmic energy. It's messing up this person feels weak, 
feels like an emperor in reverse around this individual. And if they are a Leo, they're meant to be a leader. Things aren't working out for them wherever they are. They've had to pull back from spending money. They might have been extreme trying to impress this karmic energy. It looking like they got no money to do that with anymore. It's a waste of time, energy, and money where they're at. Very unhealthy. Very uh, no peace, no harmony. It's like their energy is in reverse. Hmm. You may have cut this person off completely and just gone your own way. But they are plotting their return to you. says they're awakening and they have definitely had to learn the hard way without a doubt yeah, their whole energy is in reverse over there. The only thing upright is arguments and fights and weakness, immaturity, codependency, addictions, unhealthy living lifestyles and behaviors. They're about to come out of that poker face energy that they were in and are about to express their true feelings. Maybe too late for some of them. That's up to you. But they are planning a return and there is someone new here. Who you have a very great life with. So the choice is yours. Saying that you will hear this person out. Some of you will. Not sure if they're stringing you along or not. You'll know. Take care. <laughs>